All right, we're back with another food review. Where did we get these? No idea. Costco. Oh, Costco? We pretty much only review Costco foods. Bobo's Oat Bites. I uh, just see things and I grab them and say, let's try these. And these look kind of healthy. What got my attention was apple pie stuffed, like oat muffin. I'll try that. You like apple pies? Yeah. Strawberry stuffed oat bites and apple pie stuffed oat bites. They are 13 grams whole grains, plant-based, dairy-free, non-GMO, gluten-free. Let's see if it has real sugar. Brown rice syrup, organic cane sugar. So I'm not a fan of chemical sugars, fake sugars. Do you like chemical sugars? Huh? What are chemical sugars? I don't know what that like is. Like diet soda sugars. Oh, no. Like that makes things taste bad and, you know, they're not natural. All right, let's open them up. Let's see how they're pa oh, they're individually packaged. That's good. That's even good to you because then you could like take these to work on the break in the like in your break room and just leave them for people. How can we tell That's if it's apple or strawberry? Because the strawberry is pink wrappers oh. and the apple is green. Every time you get excited and shake, it shakes the table and shakes the camera like an earthquake. Watch. These are tiny. So, oh, I get it. Oat oh, bites. I'm thinking they're like muffin sizes, but they're just teeny tiny single wrap. Mm, they're a little, they're a little hard. What do you want to try? The apple first. Yes. Are you try the apple first. Yes. We'll try it. You're gonna open it. No. You're gonna eat the plastic. Before we taste them, though, there is a little story on here. A family tradition. Bobo started as a mother-daughter tradition with our founder, Beryl, and her daughter, Bobo, baking the first batch in their home kitchen in 2003. That wasn't that long ago. When were you born? 2001. Today, we continue to bake the same way we always have with delicious, wholesome ingredients that warm your heart and your home. These are going to warm our hearts. Okay, so let's smell it first. The smell test. Oh, that smells good. That smells good. Smells like oats and apples. Smells like oatmeal. You like oatmeal? Yes. I like oatmeal. We both like oatmeal. We both like apple pie. <laughs> smells good. Okay. I think you have to like bite at least through to the center because that's where the apple pie is. <laughs> Boop. I need any of the apple. It tastes good. I like it. I need any of the apple be, though. I thought it'd be like bland or you know like cardboard. There is not much filling. There's not much filling, so it's not like the picture on the box where you see all that like that amount of filling. That's not accurate, and it's not really. It's kind of a gooey. Gummy feeling, filling. It's all bread. I know, there's very little <laughs> filling. It's mostly oats and cinnamon, which is fine. I mean, it tastes like an oatmeal cookie. I'm not gonna just. With a tiny bit, you don't have filling like that. Oh, okay. The problem is, we got these so long ago, I don't remember how much they cost. You're gonna try a strawberry? Yeah. Okay, next up, strawberry. Strawberry stuff. So That's this, one, call it, strawberry this stuff. one does not say strawberry pie, it just says strawberry. Is this what this is called? Apple pie. Oh, apple pie. Baked with you in mind. Sounds like a little Hansel and Gretel-ish. You know what Hansel and Gretel was? It's like strawberry. You know the story of Hansel and Gretel? No. A little boy and little girl left their home, I believe, to find their father. And they were leaving a trail of breadcrumbs to get home. Oh, it's But then they came too. across a witch in the woods who eats children. And she lures them in with like baked goods and tries to feed them and fatten them up before she 
cooks and eats it's them. It's gluten free, vegan, and non GMO. But it says baked with you I know. in mind. So I forgot to say while vegan they too. were cooking these, they were thinking about us. Ready? It smells Perfect. the same as the other one, just not cinnamony. I smell strawberry. Yes. <laughs> Let me break this one open. Why? Just to see. So, like, yeah, see, there's a little more filling in there than the apple. Smells good. Apple's better. Mm -hmm. I feel like I get any of the apple. You this gotta is, go. I don't even taste strawberry. I taste strawberry. I taste strawberry a little bit. This is um, a little weak flavored, the strawberry one. And without the cinnamon, it doesn't even taste like an oatmeal cookie, so <clears throat> it just tastes like you're eating a hard wad of oats. I taste strawberry. <clears throat> Not much, though. No, I really taste strawberry. Hmm. Maybe COVID ruined my taste buds and I can't taste strawberry. <sighs> but apple is definitely better, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can taste any apples. Oh, and I saw this on the bottom of the box. A little detail, a little oven mitts holding the skew. Let me see. The barcode. So, <laughs> apple pie filled oat bites. Thumbs up. Strawberry. I wouldn't say they're bad. I mean, they're okay. Oh. Apple's better. I would not. I mean, unfortunately, it's a mixed box, so you kind of are stuck with both flavors, even if you only just like one. So, I'd have to say because you end up getting only half a box of the good ones and half a one not so good i guess unless you like unless somebody really likes strawberry in your house it's kind of a waste of money to buy this whole thing if you're only gonna eat this half right yeah so we probably won't apple. get it again we'll get the whole box of apple i don't know that they sell whole <laughs> box i mean this is costco so probably in a regular store you could probably get individual boxes of the different flavors yes Costco, you're getting a larger package and probably double the two different flavors. Apple, yes. Strawberry, no. That's going to do it for this food review. Until next time. Last tag. Last tag. Cover the whole thing. Last tag. <laughs>